Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new, I'm Cappy16 Plays AJ. In this video, I'm going to be doing something super exciting. I'm going to be trading for my dream items on Animal Jam Classic. I have made an extensive list of items that I hope to get, which I will use for reference in this video. There are 12 total items I will be trying to trade for. Many dream items I have already been able to trade for using other clothing and den items I already had, but there is still a good amount that I hope to get. I've been earning a bunch of spiked collars over the years, so it's about time that I trade them for items that I really hope to get. Especially since I can't actually wear the spiked collars as a non-member. Last video I asked you guys what I should base my outfit on in this video, and the theme I chose was... Drummle... Nature! <laughs> so, as you can see, I am wearing a pine cone necklace with a straw hat, and oh, my cute little ladybug backpack, play wild backpack, and a butterfly wristband. And for my pet, I just have a little dodo bird, which is green, so it correlates with the outfit. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Before we get on with the video, please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and leave a comment down below of which item is your favorite in this video that I'll be trading for. To start off, I'll be trying to trade for a Club Geo's hat and headphones, but no kidding, I was going around JAMA and there was a penguin offering it out for free. I just traded like some Christmas hat for it, and now it's worth a den beta, so cool. Next, I wanted to get some masterpiece tokens so I could create a trading rules list because that's always nice to have. Using Worthopedia, I found the worth of a Masterpiece token to be one clothing beta. Knowing that one den beta is worth four clothing betas and a bad long wristband is worth two den betas, I found out that a green long wrist is worth about eight Masterpiece tokens. Also, just so you guys know, the website that I've been using to find out the worth of all of these items, which you will see in this video, is Animal Jam Item worth wiki, which I will link in the description. Going back to the masterpiece tokens, I traded one green long wrist for three masterpiece tokens, which is a huge under trade, but this person that I was dealing with was being so annoying, like this is the best deal I could get. Now editing this video, it's worth the same price. Also in case you were wondering, here is how my masterpiece turned out. I'm pretty proud of it, it took a while. On to the next item. The next item that I tried to trade for was peacock feathers. And I went on to Animal Jam item worth wiki and saw that they were worth a good long collar. I traded a red spike for it. And now editing this video, it's worth one black long collar, plus one red long collar, plus a decent long collar, and maybe more. Editing this video, I can already tell that the other items that I traded for are going to be a lot more now than they were when I originally traded for them. Anyway, on to the next item, which is a non-member worn spike collar, which is the only spiked collar, I mean, that I know of, that non-members can actually wear. And I went to Animal Jam item worth wiki and saw that they were worth about a good short collar, which it was not super specific on the website, but I was able to sort of figure it out. Um, I traded down my orange long collar to two good short collars, blue and red, and I traded a good short collar for the worn spike. Up next, I tried to trade for a light up swirl or a flower power ring, whichever one I would find first. And using Animal Jam Item Worth Wiki, I found that they are worth about a good long wrist. Um, I traded a bad long wrist for it, which cue Debbie Ryan face. <laughs> now editing this video, it's worth one good long collar plus one decent long collar and usually more. 
On to the next item. Listen, I thought about trading for a skunk tail, but I just don't understand what the hype is about it. It's a skunk tail. Like, ew. But on the other hand, they look kind of pretty. So, I went to Animal Jam Item Worth Wiki and saw that they were worth a solid, and I just, I still didn't trade for it at the time. But now editing this video, it's worth three solids, and I'm debating whether or not I should try and get one because of how the worth has gone up within the past month. So, I'm kind of regretting not trading for it when it was only one solid, but oh well. The next item I traded for was wood floor. I went to the Animal Gem Item Worth wiki and I saw that they were worth a bad to decent short collar, which I got as a gift from my buddy at HappyXAJ. Thank you so much. <laughs> now editing this video, it's worth the same. Next item I tried to trade for was a pet seal. I went to Animal Gem Item Worth wiki and saw that they were worth 35 black long collars. That's a that's a no for now. I'm sorry. I don't I have spikes. I don't have that much, okay? On to the next item. I traded for a diamond encrusted tail. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I was a member for the first time, but only for a month in May, and I was able to go to a shop and buy it for three diamonds. And now editing this video, I see that it's worth a few rims, which I mean, I guess three diamonds is worth it about, right? I'd say, I'd say what I bought was fair. The next item that I got was tan carpet. I went to Animal Jam Item Worth Wiki and saw that they were worth a good short to bad long wrist. And I over traded for it with a purple long wrist, but I mean, that's not too much of an over trade. Now editing this video, it's worth the same. On to the next item, which is a colorful star couch. I went to Animal Jam Item Worth Wiki and saw that they were worth one to two clothing betas, which I then looked up to be worth maybe a orange short wrist. It's worth a dem beta, usually less. I overtraded with a short orange short wrist by about one clothing beta, um, which again, it's not too much, but it's still an overtrade. And now editing this video, it's worth about the same. Now, on to the moment you've all been waiting for. I know you saw the title, okay? I, You all know it's coming up. I know it's coming up. Well, it already happened, so <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the Snow Leopard Slippers, okay? Back on the Animal Gem Item Worth Wiki, during the time when I was trading for them, I saw that they were worth about 28 solids, which... I didn't know if I was able to get them, but we could try. Yeah, it was impossible at first. I don't have enough solids for them. Everyone was, like, wanting at least 30 solids for it. Like, 30 solids worth. And now editing this video is worth 40 solids. Last minute. Okay, here it is. Last minute. As I, literally as I am editing this video. Because why not? I traded 10 solids. A yellow long collar, a pink long collar, two purple short collars, and six red long collars for the leopard slippers. Okay, which is a huge under trade compared to 40 solids. It's like, a, it's it's about a fourth of what it is worth. And the person accepted! Oh my gosh. Like, mind blown. I was so happy. Like, this is my dream item of dream items and like because of how cute they are like I'm just I'm just obsessed that's all <laughs> like I've been trying to get them for so long and this moment just made me so happy and with that this concludes today's video I know that this was on the longer side but I hope you all still enjoyed I'm Cappy 16 plays AJ here to wish you a wonderful rest of your day or night peace out